Kino's rename function is simple, but at the same time very powerful. To use it, you select any number of files in the browser, open the context menu and select rename. In the rename dialog, we can optionally specify a new directory where the files shall be moved. If you leave it empty, files will remain in their current folder. The actual naming is organized around presets, which you can select using this drop-down list. Let's try one of my favorites, custom name with index. You see that the custom name field appeared right below the drop-down for the naming preset. I'll type in what I want to use as the custom name component of the new file names. And you see in the example field right underneath how file names will look with these settings as a live preview. If I want to know exactly what's going to happen, I click on Show Preview and here I can see the details of how each input file will be renamed, which is especially useful when you use more complex rename patterns. Should the system presets not fulfill your requirements, you can build your own in the Manage Presets dialog, which you can open by selecting the Manage option in the drop-down. We'll show you the details of this in another tutorial. For now, let's just finish our rename operation by clicking the Start Renaming button. The same controls for defining file names for batch operations are available in several other places in Kino, like transcoding or still frame export, and they work exactly the same way as shown here, so you'll get used to them really quickly.